Hey everyone, how are you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about a really awesome, trendy makeup beauty product today, I guess you could call it. Um, I filmed this video already two other times and it didn't come out the way I thought it would come out. So it was initially going to be a first impressions demo and review, but obviously since I've already tried them, not so much first impressions, but it's still going to be a review and demo, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Before we get started, as per usual, please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos, and if you're not subscribed yet, obviously, hit the notification bell to keep up with my videos and when they are posted. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with me personally, and yeah, just thank you guys so much for continuing to watch. I, I really appreciate it, and I'm really excited about the products we're going to you know, showcase today. Obviously, I have nothing on my eyes, no eyeliner, no mascara no nothing so this is going to be a true demo for you guys and I'm really excited so let's just jump right into it. pretty pumped about these and right off the bat I think they're a really awesome deal so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about by the title um, these are the kiss magnetic eyeliner and magnetic lashes now if you've been living under a rock then you might not know this but magnetic lashes have been super trendy online right now and so many different companies are coming out with their own magnetic lash and eyeliner and they are ranging from probably around 30 to 90 dollars for a pair of magnetic lashes and before I jump into this I do want to mention I have tried the magnetic lashes from Ardell that are like a top and bottom sandwich type of magnetic lash and those were terrible I do not recommend those if you see them at the drugstore do not buy them those do not work. I've tried so many ways to make them work and it just, it just doesn't work. I know Kiss also has that type of magnetic lash as well. So keep in mind, I am going to be reviewing and showing you guys the magnetic eyeliner and lashes. So I'm going to leave all the pricing here on the screen because I honestly don't remember. I personally picked up the kit so it comes with a pair of lashes and the eyeliner. They also sell lashes separately, which right here I decided to get another style to show you guys and I'm really excited about these and yeah so they do make other styles but I picked up the liner and lash in lore and this was $16.99 before tax so less than $20 at the drugstore I think you can get these at Ulta as well but I got mine at CVS if you are like me I don't like doing lashes I hate gluing eyelashes to my eyes and yeah, I'm just not a fan of them. So when I saw these, I was really, really pumped. Now I'm going to take this out of the packaging because I left it in the packaging because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. But it comes like this here. And then you can take the cover off. And the eyeliner is just a black eyeliner, which I love. And again, it has magnetic particles in it. So when you take the lash, um, it actually just kind of connects right to it. I also want you guys to keep it in mind that this eyeliner is a very tiny, thin brush tip eyeliner. So if you are not used to using a brush tip eyeliner that's very thin and fine, you might need to practice a little bit. For me, personally, I am more of a felt tip pen eyeliner. I love my Stila one and all the other ones that are felt tip, but Stila is the one I typically use, the waterproof one. And I am just, I, I was not used to this at all. I had to practice so many times and I still don't think I got the hang of it. Um, but just keep that in mind if you're not used to using, you know, a thin brush liner. There is like a sort of learning curve to this. So again, if it doesn't come out perfectly the first time, just keep trying it. You will get the hang of it. I think I'm a little bit better at it. But again, I'm not really particular to this type of eyeliner. But this is the magnetic eyeliner that I need to use for the lashes. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys have a better view of my my eyes. All right, you guys, so I hope this is okay for you. This is the best I can do with what I'm working with. So I'm just going to go in with the eyeliner here. You guys can see how tiny, tiny it is. Oh, keep in mind, I have nothing on my eyelashes. They are just curled. Um, so I curled them prior to obviously this video. And if you're wondering, I use the Lancome eyelash curler. This is a great eyelash curler and yeah, totally recommend that but let's get back into it I do have to say it looks kind of like weird and clumpy this eyeliner do you guys see the the actual wand the eyeliner itself is really watery so keep that in mind and yeah if you're not used to using a super 
thin liquid liner again you're going to have to practice and get used to it so i'm just going to start lining my lashes so i'm just going to start lining my eyes i can't talk during it because i will fail so here we go all right so obviously i've done this a few times already so i kind of know what I should and shouldn't do. Now what you should do is make it a pretty thick line. You really want to make sure the lashes have something to adhere to. So my liner is going to be a decent thickness. Obviously you don't need it to have like it extremely thick, but again, you definitely want it to be enough where the actual magnets will stick to it. So I'm going to do a little bit extra in the inner corner because this is where I find the sorry the lashes um lifting the most is in the inner corner which makes sense even with normal lashes that you glue on the inner corner is a pain in the butt really simple you could do a wing but i'm not going to do a wing because we're adding lashes so yeah that's what it looks like and now i'm going to do the other side So now that we have the eyeliner done, the next thing I'm going to actually do is put on some mascara. Now you don't have to do this, but I particularly know that my lashes are super straight. So if I don't put on mascara, then it's really not going to blend well. So if you want them to look blended, um, then definitely add a layer or two of mascara, which I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash. And yeah, I'm just going to do a coating of this. And do my best to get them as lifted as possible because again we want them to blend in with the false lashes all right okay So now we're going to apply the lashes. So this is the one I'm going to do first. This is the one that came with the kit here, and this is called Lore. As you guys can see, there's tiny little magnets all along the strip, and this is obviously a more natural lash look. So let's see how this one turns out. Now, I already know by looking at the lash and obviously trying them already that this particular lash is a little bit too big for my eye shape. Um, it still works, but I can feel that it's a little bit too big for my particular eye shape. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if I'm going to cut them because if I do trim them, it's going to trim off one of the magnets. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but I just want to show you guys how easy it is. So I'm going in from above, obviously. I have my mirror under me, so I'm looking down and going in with the lash above. So I'm just going to place this as close to the lash line as possible and then take a second to just maneuver things around and you can feel the lash just attach right onto the eyeliner. It was such a simple, easy process, and you guys, look how pretty. Like, the difference already, obviously, it's a lot more natural, but they're still so much longer than my natural lashes. And, yeah, let's just do the other side real quick. All right, so, again, going in from the top, try to get it as centered as possible, but, obviously, you can move them around afterwards as well. But just make sure the cor both corners, the inner and outer corner, are attached. Okay, and I like to kind of push up my natural lashes to blend in with the false lashes. Um, so again, just gently press them together. See, this cor inner corner is, I don't know if it's the magnet that's not strong enough. That has been giving me problems. So I don't know if it's the strength of the magnet, if it's not big enough, if it's not strong enough. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, do you guys see it? See, this one's coming up. It's just this particular one. 
I don't know why. Um, I might go back in and try to add more eyeliner, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, I'm going to zoom out for you guys so you guys can have a better idea. All right, y'all, so there we have it. This is the Lore Style Lash and the Magnetic Lashes from Kiss. And again, very natural, easy, every day. I can blink, I can shake my head, and they're not coming off. But again, the inner corners are just the, the parts that kind of, you know, lift a little bit. And this one works fine, this inner corner, but this one... I don't know, I was playing around with it the other day and I couldn't seem to figure out, I feel like it's the actual magnet itself, so there's not much I can do about it, but um, yeah, they're pretty strong. Again, if you are planning to run a marathon or do something crazy, these might not last the entire time that they claim, and if you guys are curious, they claim to last 16 hours, wind resistant, reusable, no smudge. So um, they are definitely reusable and no smudge, wind resistant, I don't know if that lives up to it and lasts for 16 hours. It really just depends on what you're doing. Um, but for less than $20 at the drugstore, I think they are a great buy if you, again, need them for a photo shoot or a date or something like that. They're super quick, super easy. Now, I'm really excited about this style that I picked up and I really wanna show these to you guys because they are more dramatic. And I typically don't wear eyelashes, but for me, if I'm wearing lashes, I wanna wear lashes. Like, I wanna... I, I want you to notice that I'm wearing lashes almost. You know what I mean? Which is such an odd thing because I'm very just like neutral face, natural makeup every day. This is like my normal, typical makeup look. And these natural lashes are perfect. But, you know, if I'm wearing lashes, I'm typically going out, dancing, on a date, to dinner with someone. So, let's dive into these right here. This style is called Tempt. And there's a few more styles I saw on the KISS website that I really, really want, but my CVS doesn't have it, so I might have to order it off of Ulta.com, but I am super excited to show you guys these because they are dramatic, all right? Okay, so let me just take off these lashes really quick. I'll show you guys how easy this is. All you do, I don't even need a mirror. I just peel them right off and you can put them right back into the case because the case itself has little magnets on it and they just reattach, super easy. So again, try not to pull out your own lashes and again, it just clamps right onto the actual packaging. Genius, absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Tempt. Again, you guys can see how much more dramatic these are. Okay, I'm gonna peel them off using my fingers because I feel like it. All right, ready? Here's the lash, do you guys see it? Boom. And I'm just going to go in from above, attach. Okay. Whoa, do you guys see that? And I, again, have done this video already two times, and I've noticed that the magnets on this style lash are a lot stronger. Like, I can feel the magnets just really, you know, clamp on to the eyeliner, which is awesome. So, let's do the other one. Again, here is the lash right here, going in from the top. Boom. Adjust your corners. Make sure they're good. And there you have it. What? Super dramatic. Again, I really like these because, again, if I'm wearing lashes, I want to wear some damn lashes, right? Um, I think these are really great if you're going to do a more dramatic, smoky eye look. Um, I mean, I don't know. They look kind of great like this as well. I don't have much eyeliner on at all. But look at that difference you guys i'm pretty stoked about these i think these are, again are great for certain situations and they're staying on my eyes i can shake my head like crazy nothing is happening and again drugstore less than 20 dollars. i think they're totally worth it and i highly recommend them they get okay reviews online but for me personally for how i want to wear them they're perfect for me. I'll probably pop them on for videos and again when I go out to dinner with friends, go on dates, hopefully when this is all over. Um, just a really easy way to wear eyelashes and you can just peel them right off, put them right back in their little cute 
tray and you're good to go. I'm super excited about these and I hope you guys try them out. If you have tried them out or if you're going to um, or if you already did, let me know. Do you like them? I, I think they're great for the price. Again, something affordable and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed and you enjoyed this video, please do follow me on Instagram to keep up with me personally and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!